All right, that last tune was from our very first uh, Christmas record, The Darkest Night of the Year. We'll stick with that record for a little bit. Uh, the Darkest Night of the Year. Um, yeah, um, Anne Lamott said recently um, that Wendell Berry told her one time uh, that it gets darker and darker and darker, and then Jesus is born. And uh, I thought that was interesting, those of us that grew up with the Christmas story, um, all these songs of hope and joy kind of fall in the very darkest, shadowy place of the year, the longest nights. And then we become a little desperate for a ray of, of hope and light. And uh, I don't know, just thinking about this last year and all we've lost um, and all we've found um, there's really nothing new under the sun. I think humans have always found themselves uh, in dark places from time to time. It's maybe it's part of the human condition. It is. And uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe in this dark zone of the year, it's good to think about forgiveness and peace and the possibility of a little joy. And uh, so it was a little challenging to think of what songs to play. I think this feels a little bit like a lament in some ways for all the lives lost this year, for starters. Um, we didn't want it to be all dark, but we're not afraid to acknowledge uh, that it can get dark. And uh, this next tune, um, yeah, it's from our very first Christmas record. We haven't really performed it much. I don't think I've even ever tried to sing it with Karen before, but um, I think we might have thought of this one because our goddaughter Zoe uh, and her husband had a, had a baby named Amelia, and uh, maybe this brings us around to the fact that we all have some work to do because uh, we need to think about... Uh, what kind of world we want to hand off to these kids. That uh, wouldn't be an over the Rhine show if somebody didn't start <laughs> crying. There's no audience here, so I have yeah. to. So we have to. <laughs> no, a that few was healing really well tears. So. And very truthful. It's been a tough year, and, and we know uh, that we want to do better for the next generation. Yeah. So we'll think about all of the little Amelias out there. Yeah. Look at their house. That's where they live in Ohio. This old farm is so awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 